Hello and welcome. Today I'm joining you from an Airbnb in northern Michigan. The Airbnb itself is pretty photogenic, so I decided to bring the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra along for this journey. As we all know, the S21 Ultra is a performance beast, so in this video I wanted to focus more on the cameras, giving you a deep dive into my thoughts on the S21 Ultra in a more relaxed setting, highlighting my typical everyday usage. There are plenty of things around the Airbnb to capture, and while I prefer to be in the pool, let's jump right into this video. So here we have it, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This one is from T-Mobile. I got the case from Amazon, link in the description of course if interested, but let's unbox this S21 Ultra really quick before we go over the case and what the case includes because the case does include the S Pen, so I do want to talk about that just briefly and why I went with this case, but again, let's jump right into the box of the S21 Ultra. So very straightforward, you're greeted with the phone immediately upon unboxing. Inside the box, not a ton of accessories, just the power cable, no power adapter. The back here is that matte finish, very smooth, very clean, not a lot of fingerprints on this. I love the build and design of this S21 Ultra. They do offer now a new navy blue model that looks really awesome at Best Buy. It's a Best Buy exclusive, but I went with this one from T-Mobile because, again, I like that matte black finish, no fingerprints really there on the back, and overall it looks really sleek, plus the case option really only comes in black that I could find on Amazon. So with that case, you do get the S Pen, as I mentioned. There is a slot for it here on the side, which is really nice. You can just kind of tuck it away. This kind of turns the S21 Ultra into that full-blown Note experience. You get all the Note shortcuts and everything that you would want with that S Pen. So it's really nice to see covers the camera, it gives it pretty good durability. I will say this does collect lint and some fingerprints, but overall it's very sturdy in the hand and it's actually lightweight considering it's also packing that S Pen. I do have to say I'm really impressed with this case. I love using this, especially having that S Pen option here on the side. It's just really convenient. It reminds me again of that Note series and being able to be super productive, being able to take notes on the go with ease, no problem. And again, the case itself is pretty nice, so it's kind of an added bonus. But again, really like the case, really like having the S Pen on deck here. Wanted to talk about that briefly so you knew that this is available for the S21 Ultra. Now, let's move on and let's start talking about the cameras, as I mentioned. As I mentioned again, everything here is kind of photogenic, so I want to take advantage of that while I'm here. And so as you can see, we're going to take a few photos here. Before I dive into the actual photos, I just wanted to show you my process for taking these photos. I am just a quick point and shoot type of person. I don't use the pro modes of these cameras a lot. And I really just focus on quickly taking photos, you know, having kids and a family, a lot of moving objects. You don't always have the time to switch into pro mode, adjust all the settings and take pictures. And I know a lot of average consumers also don't do that. So this again is just quick point and shoot and what you're gonna get on the S21 Ultra throughout my stay here at this Airbnb. So using the 100 times zoom, the 10 times zoom, and again, just really kind of pushing this camera to its limits around all the different zoom levels that you have, I wanted to showcase what the quality looks like as you're zooming in, but also just how awesome it is that you can get photos with that 100 times zoom that are Pretty decent, honestly, the, the quality isn't too bad. I'm really impressed always using this, especially for like night photos, and we'll kind of get to that later on in the video, but I'm always really impressed what Samsung has done with their camera setup on the S21 Ultra from the wide angle to, again, having all the zoom capabilities that are available on this camera setup. It's pretty solid overall. Let's jump into the actual photos now so you can get kind of get an idea overall of what was taken with this device during this stay. So as filming that video, you saw me shooting these photos. You can see the zoom in action. You can kind of judge the quality for yourself. Some of the quality obviously is lost the more you zoom in, but again, I'm still really impressed with how much detail is still made out here in the photo using that 100 times zoom. Here was a pretty interesting you know, use case. You wanna take some pictures of nature. Here I'm just highlighting on this bug that I found here on one of these trees. Uh, it's like a beetle or something, not too well versed in what you know, this is out there in nature, but as you can see here, taking a photo, you can see the photo here. It looks pretty crisp, pretty clear, and having that zoom is really awesome. Here's some water droplets as well from a photo I took following that one. Overall, again, looks really awesome. 
here taking some quick shots of some of the flowers that were around just to kind of again give you an idea of what this camera can do and some of the flexibility in the photos. Uh, taking the photos, it's pretty snappy. There is sometimes a slight delay I noticed and this is running the latest update, the latest July update. Um, and I did notice there is a delay in some of the photos, but it's not terrible. Uh, again, when I take photos of the kids or family, etc., it's all pretty clear. As you can see, though, the photos it produces are awesome. The color accuracy, just the vibrance you get from these photos right out of the box is pretty impressive. Here's a few other photos that I took of a few other flowers uh, throughout the Airbnb as well. Again, pretty impressive overall from a photography standpoint. I'm still really impressed. Let's dump into a few more photos though indoors. I wanted to also capture, you know, different lighting here so you could kind of get an idea of what all the different lighting looked like throughout this house as well. And here I'm just zooming a little bit again just to see the type of detail I can get in the photos. Just that quick point and shoot. Again, just giving you kind of that same idea of just regular everyday usage from my standpoint, uh, highlighting quite a few things throughout the house. Here we have some uh, fake flowers as well. Uh, throughout the next few photos, you're going to see in addition from what you're seeing me capture here, there's going to be a few other pictures that we'll talk about that I threw in here uh, throughout my stay to just, again, kind of highlight what the cameras can do and, and how well and how accurate the cameras are overall. Now, in filming the, my videos and filming my content so far, the last video you've seen uh, as well on this channel has all been filmed on the S21 Ultra in 4K 60 frames per second. So let me know also in the comments down below on how the video has been so far. As far as the audio, that's actually still coming from the Galaxy Book 360. So again, in the comments, let me know how it's sounding, how the overall video quality has been, looking to improve that over time. And again, working on my overall craft for videography on this channel. Here you can see those photos though that I took uh, from that video. We're gonna get into a few other photos that you did not see though uh, in that video clip of me taking the photos, but I did wanna highlight those really quick before moving on to a few others. So here you have that fake flower in great detail with that great zoom on the S21 Ultra. Here you have some additional photos, again, capturing quite a lot of detail. Uh, the indoors uh, lighting was really awesome. The indoor lighting had, you know, a lot of different shadows and everything. I went back outside really quick uh, when the kids found this uh, here slug. So as you can kind of see the detail, the zoom that you get, which is kind of nice also, because then you don't have to get too close to nature either if you're not a huge fan of nature, but you can still capture some awesome moments like that. Back indoors though, again, wanted to highlight all the different lighting and angles of this camera. So you can see quite a few just quick point and shoot photos. You can see different details throughout these different photos and different angles that I got throughout my time shooting with this S21 Ultra. I do like this photo here with the different lighting aspects. Here, it's funny when you first walk up the stairs, you see this bear and it's kind of alarming the first time you get up the stairs. It definitely scared all of us as we were walking up the stairs, but pretty cool nonetheless. And overall, it made for a really solid photo getting right up there to the top of the stairs. Here at night, you can see the moon. Again, I love the zoom, especially at night to get photos like this. The red moon we had the other day, it just looks really awesome. Even stormy day photos turned out really good on the S21 Ultra. So overall, from the build standpoint, the cameras, the performance, I'm really impressed with this device, especially coming from iPhone. Having that USB type C port there at the bottom has been a lifesaver. Moving content with portable SSDs from my device, especially large files like 4K, video footage. It's been awesome having that port. The build is nice. The S Pen, everything on deck there is really impressive. So if you're moving from iOS and you're moving from iPhone, I definitely would recommend checking out this device. Now, in terms of the 5G performance, what we found really interesting is my wife's iPhone 12 Pro Max consistently got lower 5G speeds here. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it was kind of expected for us to have poor performance as far as our 5G connectivity. So uh, you know, these speeds aren't going to be the greatest when you see this. This is 5G. Um, and here you can see the iPhone getting about 25. Um, and this was very consistent. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra consistently got better speeds in this area on our network. So I'm really impressed with that overall. And I never had any issues where the lag or lack of performance with the 5G became an issue, whereas on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we saw a much different story. So again, I think 
overall, really impressed with the S21 Ultra. If you have any questions on this device, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try to help you out in any way I can. I can't recommend this device enough overall though. I think Samsung has really nailed it with this device, especially coming from the S20 series as well and testing those devices out. I'm gonna finish my coffee though. I'm gonna continue writing with the S Pen and enjoying my time here poolside. So if you have any questions, again, comments down below and I will try to help you out. Thank you for watching, take care and stay safe.